All right, new group. North Carolina, Michigan, Wisconsin. This one might be a little easier than we had hoped pre-show. That's okay. Which team from that group deserves to be in the field the most? McCall, we'll let Tyler think on this one. I'm sure he doesn't have his answer <laughs> ready to go there. Let's go to McCall first. Well, obviously, Michigan and, and Wisconsin have, have played in a better league this season. Uh, I think the numbers prove that. Um, you look at Pittsburgh and Clemson, both as bubble teams, and Carolina is behind both of them uh, in the league standings. But, uh, you know, Carolina wins the head-to-head matchup uh, versus Michigan. Uh, that, that's something, too, that I think we need to talk about, too, just how much stock does the tournament committee put into the head-to-head matchups? You can throw the net out. You can throw the numbers, this, that. These bubble teams, do they go back to who beat who in the head-to-head matchup? So I think with those three teams, I got to give the nod to Carolina. They beat Michigan, uh, so I'm, I'm going to roll with them. Tyler? Smart man. I'm going Carolina, too. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, we beat Michigan head-to-head, uh, yep. and I look at it. Michigan, unfortunately, has a quad four loss. Sorry. Uh, Greg and unfortunate. Wisconsin's ranked 72 in the net. I don't understand how we consider them really a bubble right now. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. That's not really, I don't even think they deserve to be in the category with uh, Michigan and UNC, but uh, I'm actually pulling for Michigan uh, to get a win uh, in Indiana. I wanted them to win tonight because that would have put them in the top 50 and given Carolina another quad one win. We've only got one other one. Uh, but we've got a chance this weekend, but obviously Carolina for me. Yeah, that's the right answer. I'm glad I don't have to break a tie on this one. I think that question was a lot more difficult before the results of the Michigan and Wisconsin games tonight. Uh, it, it's interesting because it, separating Carolina from the group of the two Big Ten teams here, um, man, if that Hunter Dickinson buzzer beater doesn't go in against Wisconsin, then we're not even talking Michigan on the bubble at all. Then Wisconsin's 2-0 and against Michigan. Then maybe they do have a better argument. Maybe that net jumps up just a little bit. Um, instead, you know, kind of luck of the draw with that one. Michigan's still hanging around. But, yeah, the head-to-head separates it for me. Uh, I think North Carolina's playing the best out of this group right now, to be honest with you. I, just their last couple of games, uh, maybe a week and a half ago, I wouldn't have said that. But right now I like their chances. Hey guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is Run Your Pool. They are hosting the Field of 68 Bracket Challenge. This year, they are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for Super Bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for. The biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in.